Hey there, and welcome to this course on CSS variables. So why do you want to learn CSS variables? Well, first of all, because in CSS, you very often end up in situations like this, where you have, for example, a main red color throughout your app, which you are using at multiple places. And the old way of doing that would simply be to reuse the same hexadecimal value like that. However, with CSS variables, you're able to declare it as a variable first, and then use that variable wherever you want later on. And the obvious benefit here is that now you can simply update this value here, and these two will be automatically updated. And also, it's semantically, it makes more sense. It's easier to see that, yeah, this title is red, than it is to see that this title here is red, unless you can parse hexadecimal values quickly in your head. And some of you might say that, well, I've had less and SAS variables for years. So what's new with CSS variables? Well, first of all, it's easier to get started. This is native to the browser, so you need no transpiling, which is pretty nice. Secondly, CSS variables have access to the DOM. So you can create local scopes, meaning CSS variables that only work in a certain section of your app, for example. You can also change the variables with JavaScript, which is really handy. For example, if you want to enable your users to let's say, change the font size of your page. And it's also ideal for responsiveness, as you can change variables, for example, based upon media queries. And neither of these use cases, which I'll show you later, would be possible with less and SAS. And finally, as we'll see, it's perfect for themes. And by that, I don't necessarily mean themes as in your website visitors being able to change the layout, but component-specific themes. For example, for items which you want to change a little bit could be a product after it has been added to a shopping cart or an or an article you want to feature or whatever basically it's a very common use case and the css variables make it really easy and throughout this course you'll become a css variables master in eight screencasts they're pretty quick i explain my goal with this course is to get you up to speed as quickly as possible there are also some interactive challenges or i will at least challenge you to jump into the code and perform tasks in some of the costs and there's a Q&A section in each of the costs, so feel free to ask questions there, and I will try to reply as best as I can, or sometimes other people actually also reply. And that's great. If you see a question and you know the answer, feel free to help other people out, as that's great for your karma. Finally, this is me. I'm a front-end developer and a co-founder of this site, Scrimba. You can reach out to me via Twitter if you want, or feel free to join our Gitter chat room if you have any comments or questions. So finally, this is the project we'll be working on throughout this course. So you'll get very familiar with this. Here is the markup and in the index.css, the CSS, which we'll be working with. And in the next screencast, you'll create your very first CSS variable. So I'll see you there.